Hello friends. Um, I wanted to do a quick video. I've learned quite a bit, bit since the last few I've done. And right now my printer is experiencing some drum problems. It keeps, uh, it keeps throwing a drum error like this one right here that tells you to, um, to slide the Corona wire, which is what this is on the drum unit. So what I did was I actually, I cleaned this drum here and I highly recommend uh, using a photo lens cleaning kit. You can get one at a, at a photography store and then I, or as close to 100% alcohol as you can, rubbing alcohol. I actually use 70%, which is not ideal, but if you can get higher than that, that's good. Um, and you could use a paper towel. I've done that, but um, just best, these things are 100 bucks for a replacement set of these at minimum. Best to use the good supplies and make sure you do it right. So you clean this um, very gently. And you can turn that manually by grabbing hold of this gear here and slowly turning it. It's a bit of a bear, but you'll catch the drift and get it done. If you do have um, some compressed air, you can blow it out real good beforehand. But I've done this all a few times. And um, I have cleaned this Corona wire a bunch with the tool it gives you. You just simply slide it across. And I watch videos on the internet about that. And it kept giving me um, problems using this. So I looked really close. I don't know if you can see this. Right there. Notice that the cleaning tool is catching up on some debris, I don't think I can focus on it, on one of the wires. Oh, there we go. And so I figured this is not as effective as it should be. So I got some nice little cotton swabs and thought, well, it doesn't matter if I wreck this because it's not working very good anyways. Um, I did do some research. Now, brother says no matter what, never put any cleaning solutions on this, so don't use your rubbing alcohol or anything. But just gently, you can feel the obstructions on the wire. Rub this across and, and clean those up. Now, interestingly, after many, many, many times of using this manual tool and then trying this guy, I was able to get rid of the warning and print again. So something else that's interesting to note, another symptom of this is your images will not be as clear. Uh, your, because what happens is this corona wire, I guess that's what charges the drum to pull toner off of the roller here, the toner roller. And if this wire isn't working optimally, it's not getting a good coating of toner on there to to uh, draw or create your prints. So it just kind of looks like uh, maybe the resolution is down tuned on your image. Like for instance, I don't know if you can see this. It's, it's not perfect. There you go. It's not perfectly clear. It's got some fuzziness to it. You'll see that. I mean, I, that might be their, their uh, pixel image there, but you'll start to see it in other places. And what you can do, um, you can manually clean that or try to with a Q-tip. Now, my suggestion is this is probably your last resort as um, you could damage or destroy your drum here. And as I mentioned, these are about $100 for a new set of them. And I can put a link to that below the video. Another thing that's interesting, if you get the version of this printer that comes without the scanner unit on the top, just the printer, you can get all the spare parts for the new one and a set of cartridges for less than you can just buy the drums in the toner waste um, tray. So that's another thought. I'll put a link to that below the video as well. But um, with some luck and some gentle persuasion, you can coax more life out of these by using um, Q-tip. And notice I'm not applying much, if any, pressure 
I'm just kind of gently stroking the uh, corona wires with this, and you'll see uh, you'll see residue come off of them on the end of your Q-tip. So enjoy. I hope this helps you get a little life out of it. And just a warning: I'm not an expert. This is just me tinkering around. So um, this sort of thing, avoid your warranty, all that stuff. Be careful.